dear students from today i have started started first chapter of class 7 as nutrition in plants dear students i will want to so to say that all of you will study properly carefully at your home because of in this time our country is and not our country the whole world is suffering from corona virus so students always remember that always stay home and stay safe remember this point so in the for your good future the school management has provided you a best method of teaching in this method all of you will stay on your home and then you can study easily the chapter and if you will have any problem they then can be solved too so from today we will know about nutrition in plants students as you have entered from class 6 to class 7 some most topics important topics and some difficult points have been also mentioned and try to listen or read and understand in your very simple english language and not in hindi try to understand i will also explain in hindi language too but it is very essential now all the students have will have would have the ability to understand very well uh, the science topics because of i in previous classes too i have attended your classes so at first we will deal introduction nutrition in plants students before nutrition we i will want to discuss on the topic nutrients what are nutrients remember this words nutrients are those substances which give us energy help in body growth and repair the worn out tissues in this these functions different types of nutrients act so all living you know that all living organisms despite their great diversity in shapes and sizes so similarity in their activities they all have to eat digest uh their food derive energy remove waste product materials from their body respond to their environment produce more of their to the um, more of their own kind it is through these activities that they maintain and continue their lives these basic activities which are uh, all living things or organisms perform are known as the life processes as life processes yes students in simple way in previous classes we have studied about what are the main functions of nutrients in simple language but from here we will know these activities will known as the basic activities or the life processes for example as nutrition respiration growth excretion reproduction and response to stimuli are some of these basic life processes yes students these topics have been these words have been explained in previous books but in simple language here we will discuss the main words as nutrition in plants as in introduction all living beings all living organisms they suppose that they may have diversity in their life shape 
साइज इटीसी कहने का मतलब है कि अर्थ पे डिफरेंट टाइप के ऑर्गेनिम्स लिविंग ऑर्गेनिम्स हो सकते हैं उनकी क्रिया विधि यानी इट मीन्स एक्टिविटी अलग अलग हो सकते हैं उनका सेप साइज अलग हो सकता है वो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिम और इट मीन्स सिंगल सेल्ड ऑर्गेनिम मल्टी सेल्ड ऑर्गेनिम और फिर प्लांट्स एनिमल्स कुछ भी हो सकते हैं लेकिन जो भी लिविंग थिंग्स होंगे लिविंग ऑर्गेनिम्स होंगे उन सभी का वो सभी एक डिफरेंट टाइप के स्टेप्स में वो डिफरेंट एक्टिविटी को परफॉर्म करते हैं और वो एक्टिविटी जो होती है वो लाइफ प्रोसेसेस के से समझा जाता है के नाम से जाना जाता है जैसे कि आप जान रहे हैं न्यूट्रिशन फिर से सुनिए न्यूट्रिशन ग्रोथ न्यूट्रिशन ग्रोथ एक्सक्रिएशन रिप्रोडक्शन ईटीसी आर नॉन एज द लाइफ प्रोसेसेस ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिम्स सो आफ्टर दिस इंट्रोडक्शन वी विल डिस्कस द वर्ड न्यूट्रिशन एट फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस न्यूट्रिशन वाट इज न्यूट्रिशन बच्चे आप समझ रहे होंगे कि न्यूट्रिशन का मीनिंग क्या है पोषण सिंपल सी बात है यानी पोषण क्या जो कुछ भी हम खाते हैं जो कुछ भी हम लेते हैं और वो हमारे बॉडी के थ्रू यूटिलाइज किया जाता है क्यों टू रिलीज एनर्जी एनर्जी रिलीज करने के लिए टू परफॉर्म वेरियस एक्टिविटी इज नॉन एज न्यूट्रिशन इज नॉन एज न्यूट्रिशन सो हाउ विल आई डिफाइन इट द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑबटेनिंग फूड एंड यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ इट बाय द बॉडी और बाय द बॉडी इट मीन्स लिविंग ऑर्गेनिम्स बॉडी इज कॉल्ड न्यूट्रिशन is called nutrition now you will know here nutrition is divided in or uh, grouped in two groups so as we have studied different type of organisms take in different ways their nutrition it means their food they take in their food in different ways so here it has been uh, given modes of nutrition it means modes lem food lene ka method वो फूड लेने का तरीका सबका अलग अलग होता है वो लिविंग थिंग्स तो है लेकिन तरीका अलग है तो आज हम शॉर्ट फॉर्म में केवल आपको ये बताएंगे कल फिर आप एक्सप्लेन से इसको जानिएगा सो मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन क्या है ऑटोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन एंड हेट्रोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन यस स्टूडेंट्स ऑटोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन रेफर्स टू दो ऑर्गेनिम्स हु आर ऑटोट्रॉफ्स Who are autotrophs? It means which have the ability to make their own food. And which type of organisms come in this category? You are you know very well. Yes, students, green plants, green plants and algae, a type of microorganism, come in the category of auto. Trophic or come in the category of autotrophs. And those organisms. Which uh, take the special, which uh, perform the special method to take in their food, they is, that is known as autotrophic nutrition. So, how will we define it? Autotrophic nutrition means those type of nutrition, the mode of nutrition in which green plants prepare their own food, prepare their own food in the presence of sunlight chlorophyll water and carbon dioxide and make food make glucose and release fresh oxygen to the environment this such type of nutrition is known as autotrophic nutrition this new type of definition matches exactly uh, from photosynthesis yes students ये आपका ऑटोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन भी एक एक टाइप से एक फोटोसिंथेसिस प्रोसेस भी है क्योंकि ऑटोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन केवल वही ऑर्गेनिम्स परफॉर्म कर सकते हैं उन्हीं का मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन हो सकता है जो अपना फूड खुद प्रिपेयर करते हो तो ऐसे कौन से ऑर्गेनिज्म हैं जो अपना फूड खुद प्रिपेयर करते हैं तो एज ग्रीन प्लांट्स ऐसे मेन ऑर्गेनिज्म हैं जैसे ग्रीन प्लांट्स green plants plants and algae 
yes these are known as autotrophs and these organelles perform autotrophic mode of nutrition next students uh, the second topic heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition means others nutrition autotrophic nutrition means auto autotrophic nutrition word has been made auto and plus troughs auto and troughs so auto means self or nutrition troughs means nutrition self nourishment it means autotrophic nutrition means self nourishment and heterotrophic nutrition means others nourishment it means this has the organisms which come in that in this type of categories it means heterotrophs they are not able to make their own food for example animals human beings etc so students those organisms that cannot prepare their own food by themselves they are known in such they are known as heterotrophs and such type of mode of nutrition is known as heterotrophic nutrition that's all student and tomorrow i will will explain the types of heterotrophic nutrition that's all you will complete this point and uh, read this chapter carefully and, and stay safe stay home and stay safe